Here at Arco's independently UCAS accredited product assurance laboratory, we use state-of-the-art equipment to test our protective gloves against mechanical risks to the requirements of standard EN388 2016. This standard determines a glove's ability to protect against rough and sharp objects such as glass, thin metal sheet and masonry blocks. It involves up to six separate tests which measure gloves' level of resistance to abrasion, cuts, tears, punctures and, where relevant, impacts. For all tests, a sample is taken from the palm area of the glove. For each test, we use a die that cuts the sample shaped to meet the requirements set out in the standard. A Martindale abrasion tester is used to see how quickly a glove's fabric wears through when it is rubbed under pressure. The abrasive paper used is a standard 180 grit paper. Four glove samples are tested and the lowest performing sample is used to classify the glove's level of protection against abrasion. The samples are rubbed against the abrasive paper for 100 rubs, then inspected for wear. If the glove sample has worn through, it achieves a performance level of zero. Further set numbers of rubs are completed until a hole appears, determining the rating the glove achieves. The maximum abrasive resistance rating of 4 is achieved if the glove withstands 8,000 rubs without wearing through. The coupe test assesses how well gloves protect against sharp objects by counting the number of times a rotating blade moves back and forth over the fabric before it cuts through the glove sample. A control sample material is tested both before and after testing the glove sample. In each case, the sample is clamped in a holder. The aluminium foil enables the coupe test machine to detect the moment of cut through by the blade. Gloves with high levels of cut protection can blunt the blade during testing. By comparing the results on a control sample material before and after testing, the extent that the blade is blunted can be estimated. When the standard was updated in 2016, a maximum limit of 60 blade rotations was also introduced. When the blade deteriorates only slightly, a calculation corrects for dulling of the blade during the test, and the coupe cut test performance level is rated 0 to 5. If the blade sharpness reduces by more than a factor of 3, it is mandatory to also assess gloves cut resistance using the ISO 13997 method. Most gloves achieving level 3 and above will need to be tested against the ISO test. The ISO 13997 cut resistance test more effectively assesses the level of cut resistance high cut protection gloves offer. The test sample is mounted on a mandrel. Like for the coupe test, the aluminium foil enables the machine to detect the moment of cut through by the blade. The plastic film prevents false positive results when the glove material includes metallic yarns. Once raised into place, the cut resistance evaluator drives a straight-edged blade across the glove sample until it cuts through. And the distance moved by the blade is recorded. In this example, the glove resists being cut through by the blade until it has cut for 20.2 mm. The test is run at least a further 19 times with different loads, each time cutting a new section of glove. Unlike the coupe cut test, the ISO 13997 test does not suffer from blunting as each blade only passes once over the surface of the sample and is then replaced. The results are plotted graphically and the graph is used to determine the force that would be needed to cut the glove with a blade cutting distance of exactly 20 mm. It is this figure that determines the glove's cut performance level of A to F, with F-rated gloves providing the highest level of protection. We recommend that this ENISO 13997 result is always used when selecting gloves for medium or high cut risk environments. Tear resistance is determined by the degree of force needed to rip the glove's fabric. A sample is clamped between the jaws of a tensile testing machine. The jaws are moved apart at a constant speed. 
and a load cell records the maximum peak force needed to tear the material. For this test, samples are taken across and along the palm to account for any differences in material strength. The lowest result from four tests is used to determine the glove's tear performance level of 0 to 4, with level 4 gloves providing the most protection. The puncture resistance test measures the force needed to pierce the glove's fabric using a nail-shaped stylus. The rounded point is pushed through the material at a fixed speed, and the maximum peak force required to perforate the sample is measured. The gloves may not resist sharper points such as needles to the same level, and the needle stick ASTM F2878 test result should be used if this is a risk. Like for the tear test, the lowest result from four tests is used to determine the glove's puncture performance level of 0 to 4, with level 4 gloves providing the most protection. The degrees of protection that gloves offer is shown on the glove under a hammer shield. The Arco Cut 5E Foam Nitrile Glove provides level 4 resistance to abrasion, level 4 for tear resistance, and level 2 for puncture resistance. As coupe testing has been shown to be unreliable in assessing high cut performance gloves, the blade cut resistance test has not been performed. Instead, testing proves high level E protection using the cut resistance ISO 13997 test. Abrasion, blades cuts, tears, and punctures. Our range of gloves are designed to resist them all. Arco experts in safety.